Hello, uh, welcome to our channel. Today we will solve the question eight from chapter one of classical mechanics by Goldstein. And the question reads as if L is a Lagrangian for a system of n degrees of freedom, satisfying Lagrange's equations. Show by direct substitution that L prime, which is equal to L original L plus total derivative of a function which depends only on the coordinates and time only on the general coordinates okay and also satisfies Lagrange's equations where f is an arbitrary but differentiable functions of its arguments okay so what we are given that there is a Lagrangian L a system of degree of freedom n and L satisfies the Lagrange's equations of motion okay so that's our third point and we have to show that the L prime which is represented by L plus total derivative of f which is function of coordinates generalized coordinates and time okay so basically what we have to show is the L prime or d by dl prime q bar d by dt minus dl prime by dq equals to zero so this is what we have to show by direct substitution by putting l prime over here all right so first what we'll do uh, we'll see how the function which is a like how the function of coordinate can be written as so the total derivative of function can be written as summation partial derivative of function f with respect to some generalized coordinate q k and over here it's partial derivative of q k with respect to time and it is summed over k coordinates all right plus del f by del t now we'll put the value of total derivative of f with respect to t in this equation and we reproduce our l prime as l plus summation over k del f by del q k into del q k dot plus del f by del t so this is our l prime final and we'll first find the value of del del l prime by del q j dot so we'll put the value of L prime over here and we get del by del qj dot L plus summation del f by del qk into del qk dot plus del f by del t and we go on to do the partial differentiation and the partial differentiation will come into the summation and the equation will look like this and further del f by del t will give us something and the partial derivative of that with respect to q j dot because f is dependent only on q that is generalized coordinate and here the derivative with respect to generalized velocities so this will reduce to zero and del q k dot upon del q j dot will give us Dirac oh uh, this delta q j dot all right and delta k j sorry will be equal to one when k equals to j and equals to zero when k is not equal to j all right so if we have summed it over from k equals to zero to n for some value at k equal to j it will be finite okay so this is what we have reached and further if we go on to find d by dt of what we have found over here we'll substitute it this in over here all right and we find that we get d by dt del l by del qj dot plus d by dt del f by del qj this is our equation one all right now we come to equation two where we 
have to find del l prime by del q j equals to del by del q j. We'll put the value of l prime over here, <coughs> and we get del l by del q j dot over here. The q j is outside, but it it can go inside. All right. So this you can uh, see such kind of change of variables like over the partial and total derivatives while you are deriving your Lagrangian equations. So over here that concept can over there we can explain such kind of concepts. Okay. Now uh, we have to prove that this Lagrangian equation is satisfied the L prime by L prime and we'll put the equation one in this that is over here and equation two over here. So our LHS becomes uh, total derivative of del by del qj dot plus total derivative of del f by del qj minus del l by del qj dot. Oh, okay. It's not qj dot. It just, this is something I have missed. Minus d by dt del f by del qj. And we can cancel these two terms. We have this as the final term. And we already know that L, L is a Lagrangian which satisfies the Lagrangian equations. Okay, so this is gonna be equal to zero. Okay, so finally we can conclude that this equation is zero. All right. So the important aspect of this particular question would be finding this one and two and then substituting them into the Lagrangian equations of L prime and that is it. Alright. Thank you for your patience. Thank you.